I purchased some faux leather fabric from Hobby Lobby and I love the color so it's kind of like this olive color and then it kind of looks brown to me and I just love it I only purchased a little over a yard and what I want to do is make a skirt however I have not been feeling like sewing I'm going out of town in about a week I'll be going to Tennessee so my mind has been thinking about traveling and planning and packing and all of that kind of stuff and also thinking about things I need to do before I leave and yeah I just have not been feeling like sewing but I do know whatever I make next will be out of this fabric today's outfit of the day is this McCall's corduroy jumpsuit paired with this navy blue blazer and a white bodysuit. I pulled some of the covers off my bed so that I can take them to the cleaners. I figured since I'll be out of town, it'll be the perfect time to get them cleaned. I got a call the other day that my surgery is ready to be picked up. It's been getting serviced because I actually hit a pin when I was surging something. So I'm sitting outside of the store. I'm about to go in here and pick up my serger. I am so happy to have my serger back. They said it would be about five weeks, but it was actually only like two weeks. So that's perfect. This is where I am going today. It's been a while since I've been here, so I'm interested to see what they have today. I bought three yards of this knit fabric. It was only $2.98 a yard. There's another fabric store not far from here called Fabric Outlet and Crafts and I think I'm going to stop by there next. From the second store, I picked up this sweatshirt fabric. This is the wrong side and the right side looks like this. So I'm thinking I want to make a sweatshirt dress. And then I also bought some cream colored sweatshirt fabric for a hoodie I want to make. And then I bought this for the rib knit to go around the sleeves. I also picked up this cotton denim type fabric and I think I want to make a shirt with this. I did so much yesterday that I woke up today ready to jump in and start sewing which I am so happy about. So I am working on McCall's, no this is not McCall's, Butterick 6934 and I'm cutting out this skirt. So this is where I am right now. I'm excited to see how this is going to come out. This pattern has darts in the back and also in the front. So I wanted to make sure that I would be able to press this fabric. So I just put a sample here and I have it on this um, parchment paper. And I'm just gonna show you, I tested it out and it looks like it's gonna work just fine. I pressed it and I kind of held it down for a little bit. And when I pulled the 
parchment paper off, it looks like everything is going to be okay. So I'm happy about that. So I'll be able to press some of these pieces. I don't know if I'm going to press the seams open, but I at least want to press the darts. I'm using a heavy duty needle and a Teflon foot. The front tie has a pleat in it and then this tie gets attached to the front of the skirt. And then on the side of the skirt, a lot of these edges were narrow hemmed and I just used some wash away tape to press everything down and then stitch it. I did decide to press all of my seams open. I just made sure that I used the parchment paper and then I would just take the iron and just press everything down. And I did the exact same thing if I was pressing from the right side of the fabric. I just made sure that I placed the parchment paper on top and then I just pressed right over the seam. I used a stable knit instead of a woven. The skirt does wrap and buttons to stay closed. I made view A in a size small. I am headed to the airport. Here is my outfit of the day. This is the two piece cable knit set that I made recently. And this is a Sherpa coat that I made from a simplicity pattern. And I'll put links to these garments below if you want more details about them. So we made it safely to Tennessee. I think we're about to get ready to go grab something to eat. But I wanted to share with you that I made this hat before I left. And I just used some scraps that I had hanging around. And this is some brown Sherpa and some denim. The pattern is McCall's 7766, I think it is. And I really like the hat. I have to like play with it to get it to look how I want but I actually really really love it and I can see myself making it again and I don't really wear hats in the summer too much but definitely like in winter fall when it starts to get cool yes I love to throw on a little hat 